had it on my list. Oh yeah, that's her on the far right, isn't it? Oh, the low voice, the harmony. I think she's saying this her second time and it's everyone else's first. She bought A-Pink. Yeah. Legends. Very husky, very husky voice. I really like hers. Although she has that anxiety, but her voice is like rich. Come on, bass. That'd be reminding me of um, Kissing You, um, Girl Generation. <laughs> Her voice is phenomenal. The ease that she has, it's just, oh, oh wow. The only thing I would have wanted is a low one, a low harmony to really give it that oomph. Like, Maybe that one. There, yeah, somewhere there. Pretty. Jesus. Mm. I like her use of her brother. She's probably my second favorite after Unji.
also they're all very relaxed in the face when they're singing there's not much tension in the neck as well it's just very well supported very technical like na -na -na -na. I like her as well <laughs> Oh okay, oh yeah, I like it's nice to hear more of her voice Yes. Nice. Yeah, like the shoulders are relaxed, like everyone is so relaxed, even though these songs are in a high key. <laughs> How? So effortless. I love that. I love seeing the girl. This is nice. Look at her tongue. Oh. Her voice is so free, my god. Mm. Wow. This is the only song I know of theirs, I think. Well, and I think I reacted to a couple others actually. And there was four of them in there when I reacted to it. I think that was them. It's so interesting how their mouth shapes and jaw shapes play a part in their singing and their like how they make shapes with their lips and their and their mouth in general. Like we can see because Unji's got like a wider jaw. And it's really why her voice is bigger as well, but she sings with a smile and she it just ah, it's just wide and big. Um I don't know her name, but because hers is more pointed, I could see her lips were she she was moving her lips a lot <laughs> like and not that people aren't moving their lips but i noticed it with her um and her voice is also a bit more rounded and a bit more like Ooh. and i think i think that plays a part but there's always this obsession to rules to be honest but it's interesting seeing that especially with these two <laughs> Of 
because also it's how the sound travels it's how the sound resonates in your mouth so if you're always smiling and it's open it's going to sound more open and more breathy as well um but if you keep it all narrow and rounded a bit more it's going to sound rounded see her, see her lips there and her her face and her jaw is even smaller and her voice is really small as well. Um, but it's interesting because her voice is a little bit bigger than hers, but obviously she's even smaller. Um, but maybe it's just, yeah, difference in technique, but it's very interesting. And her voice is quite small as well, actually. But she just has range. And unji has got cheeks as well. All these, similar to Wendy, like, her voice has spaces it can go and resonate. Oh, this sounds nice. Nice harmony. Nice. Yes. Her voice is so interesting. I think like it's the most, it's very unique because it sounds, it's got that girly nasality, but it also has so much depth. It's really, it's really nice. Like I'd love to hear a full song from her and hear what she can do. If she's really painting a story from the start to the end. Mm. See, and what was her, her harmonizing? Oh, it could be. That could be her ONG. Unbi, no ONG. <laughs> nice. Effortless. Nice. Oh, that choreo is... Come on, key change. So you look, I love that she's doing these notes and look where her hands are, like, like she's just daydreaming in the sun. And that's how you know all you need is your diaphragm, which is something I'm still working on. But it's it's to be when you're when you when you have that connection to your gut, 
you just sing so freely and with so much ease. Like, look at I, to be fair, all of them are doing it. That even because sometimes when you're when you're focused and you're doing these challenging things, you, some people you know you tense and and sometimes it's not even bad thing. You're just in the moment. You might just use your hands and just feel it. But they're just like da -da -da. it's just so easy. It's amazing. Look at how relaxed her face is. Wow. With Unji, you see the her face working, but I think it's because her voice is a little bit heavier. Although it can go just as high um, as the one in the far left, it's she's more focused on carrying it to those spaces, and I think she enjoys. It's the same. It's the same. Everyone, when you know when you're figuring out a note and you just have habits, I think it's the habit of hers. But it's not a sign of tension or anything that's really bad. It's just how she sings. Because if you can hear the freedom in her voice, like there's no tension there. If it is, it's very well hidden. <laughs> mm. Oh, nice. She almost reminds me of what Jisoo would sound like if Jisoo had, if they if they're given a chance to have even more like consistent consistent vocal training. Mm. Mm. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna start this song again. I really like this one. I love me a pop rock like power ballad sounding song. I love it. That chorus was really nice. Also kind of feels like a country song. It's this. Oof. One more time. Great ad lib. Her brother was just mm, nice. Ooh, are you crazy? That was Unji, yeah. Oof. And what I like, they're very much a tone focused, like how they're singing is very tone based and it's not too girly nasally. They're not, it's just, if it's nasally, it's just naturally there. They're very technical. They're very technical. I think after Big Mama, I'll put them second from the girl groups I've seen so far. The technicality between all of them is crazy. The voices are very free. 
and not about like character they're just singing and using their natural tones because i feel like in other groups the one in the middle should be forced to be a bit more like like a character whereas she's just singing as how her voice is and they all are which is great Oh, come on. Mm. Oh, my God. This album's a bit of me, I think. Mm. I heard that. Nice. One thing I really love about Unji is, although she has that wide smile where she's singing, it doesn't sound like a wide smile singing. Her vowels still sound very, they don't sound, ah, uh, like that, they don't sound messy. It still sounds very warm, which is weird. How is she doing that? See, my only one, baby. Like, it's, there's variations still, and I don't know how she's doing that when she's got this big smile. Wild. Oh. What after like? <laughs> so yes. And also, it shows that they're focused on tone and delivery because not a lot of runs. So it keeps it straightforward and the message and the melodic line is simple. They have There's nice runs here and there, but it's not the focus and it's not the thing. It's just about singing. <laughs> That was a bit nasty. Me. Well, I think that's because she's dancing. <laughs> oh. I'm I'm intrigued by everyone's voice equally. It's wild. Like I'm really because when she came in just now, she sounds great down there. When she's they pick the right parts that really suit her voice. Oh, yes. Ha, in one breath. Breath control. I think I know this one.
That was beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. I think that 2016 album is calling my name though. Sing! I love that melody. Wow. Wait, one second. So interesting how they both they both did it pretty much in the same way like they just kind of like leaned up like looked up a little bit um so interesting they literally have the same technique or well, it's very similar anyway mm. still relaxed oh wow It's the second from the left, the main dancer. And she gives me main dancer energy. Sing. I like how she's vibing at the end, yes. And I wonder why that note, do you know why they are doing that with that note? Because it's an open vowel. Because it's a ah it's not a ooh or or it's not easy for them to go in, to go into the nasal and i think that's why because i'm like that's high but i feel like they've done higher notes or similar notes in, in previous things and they it didn't it didn't but also they're like towards the end so i guess the fatigue not even fatigue but i guess of constant singing you might just need a little bit of assistance but yeah so fascinating And it's barely like they're barely doing it to be honest. It's actually they're actually still very comfortable. Oh, they can sing. I think that 2016 album is calling my name. 
and this and the song before that that I really like, the country song. I think those two, those two moments are definitely my favorite part. Um, great vocals. I would have loved one slow song like a Mama Moo, I Miss You, that kind of energy. Um, and I wish more second gen groups had a couple of songs like that to really showcase their voices. I mean, they probably do, but obviously they didn't do it in the killing voice. But if they do, let me know in the comments. I would love to check it out. Peace.